military weapons. Thanks for joining me today for another great military video. Today we focus on the Bell Boeing V-22. The Bell Boeing V-22 is the world's first production tilt rotor aircraft, successfully blending the vertical flight capability of a helicopter with the speed, range, altitude, and endurance of an airplane. This unique combination provides the warfighter with an unprecedented advantage. This allows more effective mission execution and realization of missions previously unachievable with one aircraft. Comprehensively tested and currently in full-rate production, the Bell Boeing V-22 has proven to be a survivable and transformational platform in the most challenging environments on the planet. United States Naval Air Systems Command worked on the software upgrades to increase the maximum speed from 460 km per hour to 500 km per hour, an increase in helicopter mode altitude limits from 3,000 meters to 3,700 meters or 4,300 meters, and increase lift performance. Implementation of these upgrades began in September of 2011 and proved largely effective. By 2012, changes have been made to the V-22's hardware, software, and procedures in response to hydraulic fires and vortex ring state control issues, along with opposed landings. Then, four years later, in October of 2015, NAVAIR would test the rolling landings and takeoffs on a carrier, preparing for carrier onboard delivery. Composite materials make up 43% of the airframe, and the Pro Proter blades also use composites as well. For storage, the V-22's rotors fold up in just 90 seconds, and its wing rotates to align front and back with the fuselage. Due to the requirement for folding rotors, their 38-foot diameter is 5 feet less than optimal for vertical takeoff, and that makes it result in a high-risk loading. Most missions use fixed wing flight 75% or more of the time, which reduces the wear and tear and operational costs. This fixed wing flight is higher than typical helicopter missions, and that allows for a longer range line of sight communications for improved command and control. The V-22's two Rolls-Royce AE-1107C engines are connected by drive shafts to a common central gearbox so that one engine can power both pro -proters just in case there's an engine failure. Either engine can power both propoters through the wing drive shaft. However, the V-22 is generally not capable of hovering on one engine. If a propoter gearbox fails, that propoter cannot be feathered, and both engines must be stopped before an emergency landing. The V-22's auto-rotation characteristics are poor, in part because the rotors have low inertia. In September of 2013, Rolls-Royce would announce that it had increased the AE-1107C's engine power by 17% via the adoption of a new Block 3 turbine, an increase in fuel valve flow capacity, and accompanying software updates. The upgrade should increase the reliability of high altitude, high heat conditions, and also do well to boost the maximum payload limitations from 1,829 meters to 2,438 meters. A Block 4 upgrade is reportedly being examined at this time, which may increase power by up to 26%, producing close to 10,000 horsepower and also improving the fuel consumption. The V-22 is equipped with a glass cockpit, which incorporates four multifunction displays, compatible with night vision goggles, and one shared central display unit to display various images. These images include digimaps, imagery from the turreted forward-looking infrared system, primary flight instruments, navigation, being Takan, VOR, ILS, GPS, and INS, along with the system status. The flight director panel of the cockpit management system allows for fully coupled functions that take the aircraft from forward flight into a 15-meter hover with no pilot interaction other than programming the system. The glass cockpit of the cancelled CH-46X was derived from the V-22. The fuselage is not pressurized and personnel must wear onboard oxygen masks above 3,048 meters. The V-22 has triple redundant fly-by-wire flight control systems, which include computerized damage control to automatically isolate damaged areas. 
With the nacelles pointing straight up in conversion mode at 90 degrees, the flight computers command the aircraft to fly like a helicopter, with cyclic forces being applied to a conventional swash plate at the rotor hub. With the nacelles in airplane mode at zero degrees, the flapper ends rudder and elevator fly similar to an airplane. This is a gradual transition occurring over the nacelles rotation range. The lower the nacelles, the greater effect of the airplane mode control surfaces. The nacelles can also rotate past vertical to 97 and a half degrees for rearward flight. The V-22 can also use the 80-inch jump orientation with the nacelles at 80 degrees for takeoff to quickly achieve high altitude and speed. The control systems automate and simplify to the extent that the V-22 can hover in low wind with no hands on the controls. According to some who have flown the aircraft, former fixed-wing pilots may be preferable over helicopter pilots because they're not trained to constantly adjust the controls while hovering. That's been it for the Boeing V-22. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this one in the future.